In this sea where so many countries have territorial claims and unprecedented display of Chinese military power. Images likely to unsettle some of China's neighbors. It was the top story on Chinese state television, running for more than 22 minutes. The fleet review involved 48 warships, a nuclear-powered submarine, and China's sole operating aircraft carrier, the Liaoning. The display also included 76 aircraft, including bombers and fighter planes, as well as 10,000 servicemen and women. Dressed for battle, issuing orders, their commander-in-chief, President Xi Jinping, armed with words for a military he's determined to strengthen. Building a strong navy has never become so urgent as today. We'll carry out the thought of building a strong military in a new era. Just 48 hours earlier, before an audience that included world leaders, President Xi had sought to present China as the guarantor of free trade. Now, in the South China Sea, that contains some of the world's busier shipping lanes, he had another message. These are our waters, and we have the strength to defend them. The display happened as three Navy U.S. aircraft carrier battle groups passed through these contested waters. China claims almost 90% of the South China Sea, and for the past few years has been reinforcing its claim by building artificial islands. It denies they have a military purpose. Some of these warships are now sailing towards the narrow strait that separates China from Taiwan to take part in a live fire drill next Wednesday, the first such exercise in more than 20 years.